Hello everyone, welcome to another Hertz Drums tutorial. This time around we're gonna be taking a look at the velocity section of the plugin, which basically allows you to control how hard the drums are being hit. For each instrument we have recorded six dynamic groups of samples, from the softest and quietest hits to the hardest and loudest. So by adjusting the min and max parameters in this section, you can tell the plugin not to use some of these sample groups. Let's see how it works with the kick drum. Now listen closely to this groove. As you can see in here, the kick drum is playing very dynamically. There are some ghost notes, some really hard hits, and also some hits in between. So I'm going to select the kick drum and start turning both these handles down to their lower limit. Pay attention to how it changes the character of the kick drum by forcing the plugin to use only the softest samples, even for the harder hits coming from the MIDI. Now the plugin is using only the softest and quietest samples. Now let's do the opposite and turn both these parameters up to the limit. As you can hear, now the plugin is using only the hardest and loudest samples for all the notes played by the kick. Let's now put these parameters to their default values. As the plugin is now using the whole range of samples, I'm getting a feeling that the kick drum is being hit a little bit too hard for this particular beat. So I'm going to play around with the max control and see if I can give it a more relaxed, laid-back feel. Yeah, I like it somewhere around here. Now let's talk about the dynamic control. Let's take a look at the beat again. The snare drum is also all over the place. There's ghost notes, hard hits, and something in between. Now the dynamic handle allows you to adjust the velocity for all the notes played by a selected instrument. To see how it works, let's select the snare drum and start by gradually turning this parameter up to the limit. Pay attention to the ghost notes and how their velocity increases. Now all the notes on the snare drum and even the ghost notes are being treated by the plugin as high velocity hits. Now let's turn this parameter down. Now all the snare hits are soft and quiet. As you can see, this is a handy feature that allows you to change the overall feel of the drums without making any changes to the actual notes in the MIDI editor. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.